Yo, now this is a breeding that I did that I've actually been waiting on for a while. And uh, if any of you are familiar with Messiah, which is uh, Mandela's son who blew through shows like crazy this year. Uh, he was one of the first times that I did Mandela like this. And I took him to a uh, traditionally XL blood female, big bitch. And, you know, I would be interested in seeing the rest of those dogs. But Messiah came out incredible, well over 100 pounds. Big, incredible, credible confirmation. Still growing, still filling out. And he, he's a beautiful uh, specimen of what this breed is supposed to be. Now, this female is actually comes down the line from, uh, you know, some Camelot blood. She's a very big, but very athletic, tight, uh, just monster of a dog. She's a big girl. Um, and what I'm trying to do in this breeding in particular is to... Uh, Combine the genetics of Mandela, who is freaky, and his size, you know, for what he is. And, uh, you know, her father, who was very freaky for his size, you know, um, just a ton of muscle on these dogs. I expect a bigger dog. I expect these dogs to fall into that standard class, you know, but very, very just, you know, because height wise, even though she comes from the XL family she's really a standard she never reached uh total xl height she's so she's solid on that on, on that note but she is big you know but to to combine big genes to big genes i wanted to create a bigger stud so when i ran into problems with the dogs who would uh be small in my in my blood and go down in size too far that i would have that monster to compete you know i love messiah and we'll be using him but i think that even these dogs will be a little more compact and a little more muscular than even what he is you know based off of the pedigree and um and the parents you know so i think it's going to be a definite uh incredible breeding uh i've been looking forward to it because i want to stand to um Go and punch people in the mouth with. I've been keeping it secret for a while. A few people know about it, but uh, it's going to be a special breeding, if, you know, for monsters, you know, straight up monsters. If you like, you know, 120 pound, 125 pounds standard big ass dog, or if you got a pro pocket program and you're looking for a bigger bitch to take to one of your pocket studs to bring more mass into your program and, you know, and start breeding it that way. This breeding is going to be one that's going to set up my camp for a long time, along with the other studs that I have. It's definitely a breeding that's not meant to create my exact style of dog, but it's to give me something that's an incredible Mandela Denzel option that I don't have to go outside the camp anymore to add size. I'll create it within my own blood. And when I want to add, you know, as I told you, I want, you know, shorter dogs that's weighing 115, 120 or whatever. This dog has the type of genetics that, could be a lot freakier than that, you know, but still give me the athleticism, the drive, the ability to breathe through the muscle without falling out and dying somewhere. Gives me all those things. So, you know, man, beautiful, beautiful thing. If you re uh, refer to it, it's referred to her as the Camelot girl, you know what I mean? But it's, it's going to be heavy. Peace.